15.2 Euler circuits or Euler circuits, depending on who you talk to. The city of Königsberg was once the capital of East Prussia. The river Pregel ran through the city in two branches with an island between the branches. There were seven bridges joining various parts of the city shown in the map. According to Leonard Euler, the following problem was well known in his time around 1730. Is it possible for a citizen of Königsberg to take a stroll through the city, crossing each bridge exactly once and beginning and ending at the same place? So that's, you know, that's a question. And so try to trace such a tro uh, stroll on the map. So try it yourself. See if you can do it. So maybe you start at point A and cross this bridge and then this bridge and then, you know, try that out. Try it yourself real quick. Can't cross a bridge more than once. You have to cross it exactly, exactly once. So, hmm. sure doesn't look like it's going to be possible. Okay, you can try it, and you can try it, um, but I don't think it's going to work. Or we can suspect that, but we can prove it using graph theory. Example one says, simplify this problem by drawing the map as a graph. So you've got four land masses here. So I'm going to draw point C, point A, point D, and then over here I'm going to draw point B. They don't really have to be laid out in this specific manner, but I like to put the dots about the same place as where the land masses are. I just think it makes, uh, makes it uh, easier. So it looks like there are two bridges from C to A, and there are also two bridges from A to D. There's a bridge from A to B, and there's a bridge from B to D, and a bridge from B to C. So that's a graph of the same map. Okay, you've got a map on the left, you've got a graph on the on the right, and they both show pretty much the same thing. You could try this same problem. Let's start at B and we go here and then here and then here and back and ah, nope, that didn't work. Try start it at uh, A at D. Here, 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 here. It's gonna be hard to get all those bridges, and I can still, I still kind of suspect that this isn't going to work. You're not going to be able to start and end in the same place. An Euler path uses every edge exactly once. An Euler circuit uses every edge exactly once and ends where it starts, okay? So understand, learn those definitions as quickly as possible. That's pretty much the whole lesson. Lesson is on Euler circuits. Make sure you know that definition. Euler's theorem says a connected graph has an Euler circuit if and only if each vertex has even degree. Underline that. Because all it's going to take is you look at a graph, and if every single one of the vertices has an even degree, you'll know that it has an Euler circuit. And it's not that hard to find one, okay? An Euler path, a connected graph has an Euler path if it has exactly two vertices of odd degree. Underline that. And so you're going to get a question that says, is there an Euler circuit or is there an Euler path? If so, name one, okay? An Euler path, you're going to have exactly two odd ones, and that means the rest of them are even. And then it goes on to say, to find an Euler path, you must start and end at the odd degrees. All right, so that, that's helpful. That's useful information in that box. So number two says, which of these graphs have an Euler circuit? How about an Euler path? So... Really, all it takes is, is look at the degrees of all the vertices. 
Okay, we talked about this in the last lesson. Um, so here's a two, and degree is four, degree is four, degree is two, degree is four, degree is two. See how every vertex has an even degree? That means there exists an Euler circuit. And so an Euler circuit is just what we were trying to do on those bridges. You hit every single edge and you start and end at the same place. So um, let's say I go... Okay, basically, do you see what I did there? I started at A, and you know you don't have to do it the same way I just did it. A lot of times there's multiple ways of doing it. You're just tracing every single edge. You hit every single edge exactly once. You start and end at the same place. So we look at the middle example. There's a two and a four, 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 two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an eight. Four, two, four, 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 two. So again, they're all even, right? They're all even. So that means there must be an Euler circuit. Oops, I didn't really answer the question. Okay. This one has an Euler circuit. This one also has an Euler circuit. You're probably guessing the next one has an Euler path. Well, let's check it out. Well, here's a degree three. That doesn't mean it's an Euler path yet. One, two, three, four. Four and four and four and six. Four and four and three. Okay, so this one has an Euler path. What's the difference? What makes one a circuit and not a path? Say louder. Starts and ends at the same place. The circuit's going to start and end at the same place. A path is going to end elsewhere. Specifically, an Euler path is going to start at one of the odds and end at the other odd is what's going to happen. So you'd have to start at one of the odds. And, you know, you could do something like this. Uh oh, did I mess it up? No, oh, I got it. Okay. Um, you'd have to start in an odd and end in an odd. That, that would make an Euler path. And then there's a cut edge. A cut edge is an edge in a graph whose removal disconnects a component of the graph. Okay? So a lot of words there. You might want to read that again make sure you understand what it's talking about. A component is like how many pieces are there? So right now, whoops, right now, this is all one piece. It's all connected, meaning you can get to any dot from any dot, okay? But imagine if I knocked this one out, okay? If I took out, if I removed that edge right there, you would have a graph that looked like this. You would have two components, and you wouldn't be able to get to every dot from every dot. That would be disconnected. So the one I put an X through, that is a cut edge. Identify the cut edges. D, E is a cut edge. I believe I see one more. Who can see the other cut edge in this picture? One edge, if you remove it, you're going to have two different distinct components. This one. It's that one. Okay. If you took out that, that edge, you would have this little dot sitting all the all the way over there by itself. Okay. You couldn't get to any of the other dots from that dot. You'd have two components. So that makes GH a cut edge. Number four, find an Euler circuit for the graph in the figure below. Well, first you, first you want to decide if one exists, okay? And how we know one exists is if all of the vertices have even degree. 
there's a two and a two and a four and a two and a two and a four and a two. So they're all even, therefore we know that there is an Euler circuit, okay? So it's really pretty easy to, to find because you just have to start somewhere and end in that same place. There's gonna be a lot of different ways of finding one. So I would recommend you start somewhere that's just easy to remember, okay? So I'm gonna start at B. You write down B. And then I'm gonna to go to C and to D. Okay, and then there are lots of ways to do this. You could mess it up, but there are lots of ways to do it. I'm just going to keep going across to E. And then let's go to G. I'm going to go back to D, to F, to G, to H, and then I'm going to end up back at B. Now notice it didn't matter that I hit the same vertex more than once. I'm just not allowed to hit the same edge more than once, okay? You might end up going to the same dot twice or three times or whatever, just as long as you don't reuse an edge. I used every edge exactly once and I ended where I started. There's an Euler circuit. Number five, below is a roadmap for a small town, the post office, Four intersections, as well as the streets that connect them, are shown. Find an Euler circuit to help minimize delivery time for the mailman. Note, the mailman will start and end his route at the post office. That's what makes it a circuit. It's going to be an Euler circuit. So we're going to start at the post office. It's basically the same question, right? Okay. They didn't ask me to check the degrees. I guess we could. Four, 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 four. They're all four. I know there's an Euler circuit. I'm gonna start at the post office. I'm gonna put dashes be between just cause PO is uh, two letters, I guess. Um, but, you know, just, just start. You're gonna go, let's go to A and then to B. And then let's go back to the post office. And then let's go to D to B, to C, to D, use this one back to C, up to A, and then back to the post office. Easy peasy. Start and end at the same place. Use every edge exactly once. That's an Euler circuit. And there you go.